Hey folks, so I've not made a video in a while, just really kind of fallen out the habit of it. So I thought I'd set myself a new challenge to try and get in the habit of making videos again. Um, I'm going to be seeing whether I can say anything interesting while I wait for my coffee to brew in the morning. So you're basically just going to get my opinion on different topics, uh, ranting about uh, things as they come up to my head. These, these are going to be kind of talking not so much about uh, fencing in terms of the, sort of the techniques or tactics involved. I'm really going to be thinking more about actually HEMA, historical European martial arts as a discipline, as an activity, as a hobby or whatever we happen to call it. Um, and thinking about things like running tournaments, running in clubs, whether you feel ready to teach and that kind of stuff. Um, for those that don't know, I've been doing HEMA now for nine years. I've been running a club for six of those nine years or maybe even seven. Uh, teaching for most of that, um, primarily longsword, but other stuff as well, as well as running the Wessex League. So I've been involved in quite a lot of different aspects of, uh, of HEMA. And while well, you're basically you're going to just get my opinion, hopefully the fact that I've been involved in so many different parts of HEMA, uh, my opinion might matter for, for something at least. When I say I'm going to be talking about HEMA, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is... Um, kind of why I don't participate in debates when they come up, and they come up a lot, uh, about what is HEMA. Um, and you'll see this pop up periodically on a line uh, or in the pub or whatever it happens to be, and someone will say, ah, all these people, they're doing tournaments, and that's not true HEMA. All these people are just doing the techniques, and they're not doing tournaments, so that's not true HEMA. Um, and frankly, it bores the crap out of me. Um, it is basically... Uh, bad, bad philosophy about historical European martial arts. And the reason why I say it's bad, bad philosophy uh, is that I, um, many years ago for my sins, had a philosophy degree. Um, and a lot of philosophical debates are, well, what is art? What is science? What is this? What is that? Um, and even within philosophy, those debates are kind of crap. Uh, they tend to focus on things like, oh, what is the language, or what do we mean by this word, or what's our true intuitions about this kind of stuff. Um, and trained philosophers are bad at this. And now what we have when we talk about what is HEMA, a bunch of untrained philosophers trying to do it about a discipline uh, that frankly is very incredibly varied. Um, and when they try to do this, what they inherently always do is they look at the bits of, of HEMA that they like and they say, well, that's true HEMA and everything else is not true HEMA. Um, and the debates just go round and round in circles with never ever any kind of uh, resolution. And it comes up again in six months' time with some new person's come along with an opinion uh, about what they think is true HEMA. Uh, and we then get subject to yet another set of opinions and everybody jumps in with the same ones that they've said all the time. So the reason I never participate in these debates is because A, I, I was bored of it when I was doing philosophy, uh, and, and B, because I don't think there is a single answer to this question. Um, HEMA is a wonderfully varied discipline. Uh, we have some people who are in it for the tournaments, and they love tournaments, and they go, and I quite enjoy a tournament, don't get me wrong. I run them, so you'd think I would. Uh, we've got some who are super into just the historical aspects to it, and yes, it's a physical activity, um, but uh, and they do the physical activity, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's particularly the history aspects or the, or the delving into a technique in the book uh, that they really, really care about. And you've got every kind of spectrum in between. You've got some people who just are happy to kind of pick up a weapon and have a play about with it, even if there's no historical text. Um, and many, many other flavors that I haven't touched upon. And the wonderful thing about uh, it being a kind of a modern activity where we don't really need to do this, right? We, all of us are doing this for some level of fun or enjoyment or interest or whatever kind of word you want to put to it. And none of us are doing this for life or death, right? We don't have to learn how to use a sword or wrestling or pugilism, or whatever you want to do. It's my coffee almost done, so I need to wrap up. Um, and we as a discipline can cater to this wide variety of interest uh, or reason for being interested in it very very easily so whenever somebody comes along and wants to say is this really HEMA or is this is what I'm doing here HEMA or is this true HEMA or what is true HEMA they are trying to maybe not intentionally but the the consequence is saying okay that's not true HEMA so don't do it 
right? Or we don't want that in our club. We don't want that in our broad centre club, not our, our actual FEMA club. Um, and there's no point, right? Uh, there's no point in going around saying to people, the fun that you're doing is wrong, or you're wrong for enjoying that, you shouldn't enjoy that. Um, we can easily um, interact with people who are doing something slightly different. So, you know, if I'm, if I, someone, person is a very tournament focused fencer, but there's another person who's somewhat tournament focused, but cares about the books, and the third person just cares about the books, they can have a productive chat about, you know, what's good, what works. Um, there might be some things where they can't see eye to eye, or they can't have a discussion about it, or they can't fence about it, and, you know, it's fine. Move on, talk to somebody else. Uh, at this point, last time I estimated, there were probably around 60,000 HEMA practitioners across the world. Post-pandemic, that's exploded. I would be unsurprised to learn that it was well over 100,000 at this point. Can't see eye to eye with somebody? Go find one of the other 100,000. Or train someone new, get them to do it instead. Move on. Endless debates about what is HEMA, kind of pointless. Hope that was uh, an interesting rant. Uh, it definitely goes in the safety in the uh, category of rants. Um, and I will try and do one of these every day when I make a coffee. Thanks.